Welcome to Train Toy News. Today, I have a lot of new trains and sets to talk about. Now, this first image contains three All Engines Go push-along sets. One where Thomas is at a crystal mine, another with Percy and a coach and a station, and Diesel with boxes. The next image is a new All Engines Go Salty, and everyone's been pointing out that this one is pretty accurate to the actual build of Salty, which is amazing. A lot of the other ones have the cab very scrunched up, so I'm happy to see that his cab is actually tall like it's supposed to be. Then we have a new All Engines Go Ashima, which is very pretty. Her blue is actually sparkly, as we've seen from multiple close-up images. Her pipes are sparkly as well, which is really pretty and I'm just excited to get her. The only thing I do have a nitpick about is that she is very scrunched up and kind of squashed, but that's about it. So now we move on to merchandise of the green troublesome truck that they made a character in All Engines Go. I find it very cool that they did make some troublesome trucks like signature characters instead of all of them being stock troublesome trucks without any names or characteristics, but these specific troublesome trucks actually do have characteristics. Obviously they're not named, but they are green and red troublesome truck and we have a push along green troublesome truck which is really cool and it can connect to motorized which is amazing because obviously they're the same size <laughs> and then we have some color changing engines for all engines go so we have thomas percy and kana with some really cool designs and it's been a long while since we got some color changing engines so these are push along of course you're able to put them in hot and cold water and they turn into different designs. Thomas gets frostbite, Percy gets a face full of stench from a skunk, and Kana gets electrocuted, it looks like. And after that, we have this fantastic new Cranky set, which they finally made it 3D instead of having Cranky just have like this whole chunky mold. They have Cranky actually proportioned correctly and have his bottom half completely cut out. He's also remote control and it comes with a talking Thomas, which is insane. And on top of that, it also comes with a motorized version of the red troublesome truck. Like we were talking about earlier, there's the push along green troublesome truck. So we have both of them in merchandise now, which is amazing. Next, we have a big celebration because we finally have a new motorized whiff. Like it's been so long ever since Trackmaster 1. Of course, Trackmaster 2 never made whiff. So we have whiff again, finally. He looks really good. Even if he's a chunky version, I'm still glad that he's back in the toy range. Now, not only are they releasing an all new motorized whiff, but they're also releasing a talking whiff now. So this is very exciting news. We're gonna have lines from him. He's gonna be able to talk to the other engines. And it looks like this special version of whiff has a scrap part that he made as a funnel maybe like a power-up funnel or like a special funnel. All I know is that he made a new funnel out of some scrap pieces that he has at his waist dump. Next, we have a push-along set that's called Mystery of Lookout Mountain, which most likely is for a new All Engines Go movie. And it contains Darcy, literally the first ever merchandise of Darcy, which is very exciting. And she looks to be up to scale from what I've seen on Twitter. Someone showed the toy of Darcy next to a bunch of the other Jack in the pack crew and she looks to be bigger than all of them so she's very much good in scale and also obviously she's better looking than the previous trackmaster darcy that has no detail at all lastly we have three new all engines go motorized greatest moments sets we have percy and a mail car which is cool because you could put a little box parcel inside of the mail truck we have a cyborg thomas that's undercover He's actually see-through looking at the Twitter posts that some people who've already got him have posted. He's literally like transparent. And lastly, a far out beach dwelling Nia, which her wheels and the bottom of her are all glittery. I also find it really cute that the model she's carrying is a sandcastle of a train. So that's it for this episode of Train Toy News. Hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to tell me in the comments which one is your favorite, which announcement is your favorite, and which one you're excited for or least excited for. You can tell me in the comments what you think of any of the toys that I've displayed. So that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.